Okay, YouTube. Today, I'm going to be making the YouTube play button. And I hit 150 subscribers. I'm pretty proud of myself. So, um, it, no snake is shedded. And then, when came up with this idea to make a snake shed YouTube play button, Bob up here, my normal retake, she shed, so cut some good samples off of her sheds. So, um, be using that to cover the play button. So, enjoy the video. Alright, so now I got the backboard cut, all mount, well, just cut. And right now I got the radial arm saw set at a 45 degree to make the frame and get the cuts for the frame for right here on the edges and then have to dado out the groove for the glass to slide in and the frame part will be done and then working on the play button and getting the shape of it to be covered in the snake shed so get these cut and come back with the next all right now I got all my 1x4's all cut to 45 degree angles right here right here and measured the inside of the track that I just dadoed all around and I cut a piece of glass to fit right in the track and it will be just like this and that's the glass front after getting it glued together getting it all clamped up with the back piece and then it'll be on the way to making the actual play button itself and wrapping it in um, snake shed all right all right and for the play button I just cut down a piece of scrap pine. All this stuff I'm using is just scrap, but what I did is I cut the corners off at a 45, and then I sanded them smooth, got the trim router, and I brought the, it's a quarter inch round, and I brought it a little deeper, so when I routed it, it was a little deeper that way sanding it smooth it gives kind of that whole top curve to the whole top of the play button so that's that getting ready to do the triangle and get it cut out and get this all painted white for the shed to be glued onto it and you can see the pattern on the shed so it's going to be white all right, now I got the center groove made for the play button and all sanded, nice round, looks good. And when we are testing it out, I'm going to be painting the play button and all that white because the snake skin shed, it stands out pretty well on the board by itself, glued, but on the white background, it has even more pop to it so I'm gonna be painting that white and then once it dries be putting some Mod Podge on and then gluing a piece of shed that I have for the play button that I selected out I think I found a pretty cool pattern for it so gonna get that painted white and I got the backboard all measured everything um, centered and 
the back of this is where it's going to be hitting these screws right here but this is just so I could paint I'm gonna clamp it paint it that way I get it all painted in one shot but that's how it is coming along so far all right I got the first coat of white paint on the Google Play button and I sanded it down with um, 1200 grit sandpaper kind of deadened down the brush marks this is a piece of snake shed I'm going to use off of Bob but um right there I'm going to Mod Podge it with this and just first put on the top coat on the top lay it down let it dry and slowly wrap it around gently and the box I got all done um I've got as showed it dado to where the glass sits for the back I was going to paint the back gray but I ended up cutting up a gray t-shirt putting it on the back stapling um the sides on the board all the way around keep it nice and tight and the box is done so now just working on the play button and got to fill in all the seam lines that way paint the outer perimeter black so almost done it's been a lot longer than I thought you know keep coming up with different ideas and I thought it was going to be a couple hour project and it's turned into almost a full day so probably by the time it's done will be a full day all right and I got a little bit of like a chrome model paint and I found out something that snake skin loves to absorb paint I didn't even paint the skin I painted in there and it absorbed it up in but don't seem too bad so I'm just gonna let it slide and then when all this dries I got to throw the clear coat on and the clear coat really helps bring it out and when I had it out in the Sun the iridescence that's still on the skin it looks amazing so got that and the frame on the insides all painted that way when I get the inside the button done I can mount it up in and then slide my glass right there on the tracks like that slide it in put the bottom piece on and paint the outside of paint the outside of it but that's the progress on it so far now the final reveal here it is spent a day making it now it's hanging in the snake room it looks pretty cool so this was my build on the YouTube play button snake shed edition and hope you enjoyed the video and remember like subs subscribe comment and see you in the next video.